Mom was seen chilling with young boy's baby mama, Jania. Rumors started flying that they was dating. Hello, hello. So I'm back with another reaction video and this one was requested a lot because I was asking for some explanation between Little Dick and NBA Youngboy's beef and somebody actually sent me this video. A lot of people put it in the comments as well. So thank you. This is a video I'm gonna be reacting to today. Um, if you have anything else like this you'd like me to react to then put it in the comments and let me know. I do need to go through my comments so just be patient and I'll get through them. But before I jump into this, make sure you jump over to my Instagram and follow me over there. If you want to be nosy, if you want to send me a message of a video suggestion, then jump over there and follow me. Also, I will let you know when I'm dropping reaction videos over there. So you'll be kept in the loop and know when new reaction videos are dropping. But anyways, anywho, 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 OTF versus NBA, the little dick and NBA young boy beef. Thank you for the suggestion. And I'm gonna jump straight into it. NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk are two of the hottest rappers in the game right now. They was cool with each other back in the day, but King Von's death in 2020 sparked a wild beef that's still going on today. Mm. Here's how it all went down. Durk and Youngboy never really had direct issues with each other. And back in 2017, they even linked up on the track, My Side. Mm. But Durk was close to King Von, and that's where all the problems allegedly started. One day, Vaughn was on IG Live listening to a young boy's song in the whip. While the track was playing, Vaughn started questioning how real young boy's lyrics were and said, I'm talking crazy on this man. Oh, yeah? He ain't even like that. I saw oh. this. On his ass, man. <laughs> on his ass. On cap. You got cap in your raps. The situation went dead for a couple years, but then Vaughn was seen chilling with young boy's baby mama, Jania. Rumors started flying that they was dating. But Vaughn squashed it and said they was just making music together. A few hours after Vaughn posted the pic with Jania, Youngboy posted a picture and captioned it with, I'm gonna have my son f your daughter since you trolling. Then Youngboy announced that he was working with Vaughn's ex, Asian Doll. After Youngboy dropped a snippet of the track with Asian Doll, Vaughn tweeted, That new shit y'all got, garbage. And I got some shit on your baby moms that'll make you not wanna claim your kids and shit. Both sides said there was no beef. But then young boy dropped the track Dead Trolls. He don't drop any names in the track. Okay. The fans thought he threw subliminal shots. When he said, tell that boy I'ma see him. <laughs> tell him I say, don't come fish around this lake. <laughs> and that's real. <laughs> Seven murders in my hometown. Tell him because <laughs> I did that. Soon as the other boy touched down, I'ma be pushing his wig back. It's rumored to be aimed at Vaughn. Mm -hmm. That ain't been confirmed. Vaughn and young boy started going back and forth on social media. Then okay. the crews got involved too. One of the dudes who jumped in on Youngboy's side was Quando Rondo, the first rapper Youngboy ever signed. Quando was sending shots at Vaughn and his homie Lil Reeks, and the situation started getting heated. That's when Quando's homie Lil Tim tweeted, from Chirac, better chill on my Quando. And back in 2019, somebody tweeted Reeks and said, all you need is to add GG Youngboy feature for this to blow. Spend that check, add Lil Reese 300. But Reese obviously wasn't rocking with the advice and tweeted, I won't dare pay a little boy to get on the track with me. <laughs> Young boy ain't respond, but some fans think this might have helped turn up the beef between him and Oblock. Mm -hmm. Even though everyone could see there was static, Bond denied there was any beef. The day before he was killed in Atlanta, DJ Academics asked him about it, and Von said, They be saying that a lot. It's like we got the same issues. And then, you know how the internet will try to make it. Don't tell me I got problems over girls. No, it's the internet, gang. It's the, it's the, you know? Then, on November 6, 2020, Quando Rondo and his homies were outside the hookah lounge in Atlanta when Von and his crew walked up. Quando told Angela Yee that he didn't even know who it was, and he was just going to let him pass. He said, in my mind, I'm just thinking regular in reality, like you would think. I'm about to let these people walk past me. I'm not about to try to go through these people or nothing like that. Next thing you know, a nigga hit me. You feel me? Boom, bam. Man, like, I like to unite, man. I like to unite. Like, like, it's like I had an out-of-body experience. After Vaughn started throwing hands, a wild brawl broke out, and then both sides started letting off shots. Vaughn was allegedly hit multiple times by Quando's homie Lil' Tim, Jeez. who also got shot but survived. According to Quando, he didn't even know it was King Vaughn until the next day. He said, I never in life, ma'am, never in life had words with them. 
I didn't know this was him. And ma'am, I swear to God, on my soul, ma'am, like, like, ma'am, this is a neighborhood crip, ma'am. I did not know that was him to the next day. Bomb's Jeez. death gave Quando a lot of negative attention, which led to his shows getting canceled and him what getting What did he say is what? Sorry, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Now, I did not know that was him to the next day. Bond's death gave Quando a lot of negative attention, which led to his shows getting canceled and him getting death threats every day. When the news broke that Lil Tim was out on Bond for his murder charge, Lil Reese said, We gonna roll his ass up real soon. Big ass backwards. Big ass backwards. We gonna roll his ass up. Dirk they just be so, you know, they just be saying stuff on live, which is crazy. Like, they just be on Instagram live, even tweeting things, which is crazy to me. Big ass backwards. We gonna roll his ass up. Dirk was never directly involved in Young Boy's beef with Vaughn. But all that changed after Young Boy dropped Bring the Hook and called O Block out by name and this Vaughn. On the track, he rapped, this that squid game. O Block Pack get rolled up. Murder what they told us, Atlanta Boy get fold up. After the track drop, DJ Academics tweeted, NBA Young Boy on Demon Time right now. And Lil Reese responded with, that ain't no Demon Time. He just rapping like the rest of these rappers all rap. Then NLE Chaba jumped in and responded to Reese with, I stamped that. A couple days later, Youngboy dropped the track No Like I Know and took shots at NLE Chopper on the line, I bet your mama be destroyed when we sent your stupid ass to God for making statements, choosing sides about my beef with them little boys. I can say I saw it, you can say I was your favorite. Better stay up in your place, around get your face split. They know I'm a demon. You ain't met the devil till they see me. Youngboy oh allegedly goodness. took a shot at Dirk and Reese on the same track when he said, I don't give a f my n Just like your friend, you'll bite the dust. That ain't blood. You ain't ready to see some brains around the club. Then, young boy posted a photo on IG of himself posting with a yeah, bunch of- Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember seeing this. A lot of people were sharing it. But obviously, I didn't know who, was, who it was about, who it was, you know. But now I know. But yeah, I remember seeing this everywhere. Your cash on the floor that spelled out. And then, then people started doing it with, like, saying other things as well, like, but like spelling out other things on the floor with money. Going to die. And another one where the cash spelled out, stay safe. Dirk clapped back by spelling out, hurry your b up with his own cash. And then the beef oh really gosh. started heating up. Yes. And Ali Chapa told DJ Academics that he told Dirk not to respond to Young Boy. But back in February, Dirk dropped the track Aha and took things to the next level. On the track, Dirk rapped, it's acting like they really like that since my Brody died. Just got out the feds, you bring up murders with your police ass. He was airing out young boy for bringing up street business while he was still on house arrest. Then he went after young boy's baby mama, Jania, and said, I told Von to leave that bitch alone. She posts on OnlyFans. Catch him at apartments they be in, because that's our only chance. The same day AHA dropped, young boy clapped back with, I hate young boy. He took shots at Dirk, his dead homies, and even Apple got dissed. He started off the track by calling out Dirk for not sliding after his cousin Nooski got killed back in 2014. Then he went after Dirk's fiance, India Royale, with the line, He called me a b That's India. That be your b Posted with that stick like Indians, they want my soul. Huh. Youngboy also shouted out Dirk's op with the bar. I'm bumping Wooski, turned up with some groupies while at my home. Why he dropped that weak ass song? You should have known. FPG Wooski is Dirk's enemy from STL EBT, who's been beefing with him for years. So Youngboy gave him a shout out to let everyone know who he's rocking with in Chicago. Youngboy and Dirk are two of the biggest rappers in the game right now. Damn. And they beef got everyone in the industry picking sides. Youngboy let people know that if they rock with Dirk, they ops too. He even called out Gucci Mane for working with Dirk and sent shots at Apple for promoting his music. Uh -huh. Back in June, 21 Savage went on rapper Matt Hoppa's podcast, My Expert Opinion, and talks about the situation. 21 has worked with Dirk and Youngboy in the past. Mm -hmm. And Hoppa asked him how he would handle two friends beefing. How does that work when you f with somebody who got a problem with somebody else that you f I'm going to try and squash it first. I'm going to try and figure out a way for them to get rid of the problem. Because I ain't no fake. But when Hoppa asked him about the Dirk and Youngboy. Let me just say something. 21 Savage, 21 is one for the ass guy. <laughs> I was watching him on Kai's stream the other day. It's funny. He's a funny, 
for the actors sometimes with rappers like you you don't really get to see them like you just kind of hear them rapping or you might see him on it do you know what i mean like, you don't really get to see the personality but 21 is funny funny guy i'm gonna try and squash it first i'm gonna try and figure out a way for them to get rid of the problem because i ain't no fake but when Hoffa asked him about the dirk young boy situation 21 said yeah certain shit you can't even you don't try Mm -hmm. That shit you just know, like, ain't no, didn't. ain't no trying. Back in July, young boy's homie Rich the Kid was spotted chilling with Dirk in the Hamptons. Fans started going crazy online, but Rich hopped on IG and wrote, First off, I love all the fans, but y'all gotta show the f out. Top my brother in real life, not this weird ass internet world y'all live in. And if you see me somewhere, I was paid. Rich captioned the post with, If my bro ain't tripping on it, why the f you folks eating my d Y'all can't wait to see it crash out. Some fans thought the beef might be over if Youngboy was cool with his homie chopping it up with dirt. But then in August, Youngboy let everyone know it was still on. Youngboy dropped the last album on his deal with Atlantic Records on August 5th, and he allegedly trolled Dirk with the album merch. One of the shirts he dropped shows a bulletproof vest on the front along with the words, mm-hmm. It's not a direct shot, but fans immediately linked it to Dirk's AHA track. The beef has been pretty quiet for the last few months, <laughs> but it's probably only a matter of time before something else yeah. sparks a new round of distance. It would be best if Dirk and Youngboy just squashed it and moved on, but it's hard to put it in the past at this point. Dirk and Youngboy are both successful enough yeah, that they they're going to diss people on every record to sell music. And hopefully, they'll switch up how they're moving. They don't have to become friends or anything, but if they keep the beef going, it's only a matter of time before somebody gets hurt or killed. Uh, Hip-hop yeah. has lost an insane amount of artists lately, and it would be a tragedy yeah. if either of these dudes went out the same way. Mm -hmm. It's true. I was saying this the other day when I was reacting to some disrespectful moments i think it was king von's or little dicks or it was somebody's but i was saying like our people are beefing but it's like sad because sorry it's sad because people are getting hurt okay and get and worse you know it's not nba yep. it's just not good and it's not nice but this video helped okay this video helped and it explained a lot so thank you for whoever thank you for the people that requested this video like i was saying if there's any other videos like this you'd like me to check out then let me know in the comments but i am going to be reacting to a lot more videos like this anyway because i know i just need to go through the comments and just pick out the videos but let me know what you think about this video let me know what what, what do you think how do you feel about all of this beef but anyways guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next video very very soon bye